What did the popular kid at your school do to go from cool to an absolute outcast? Somehow he super glued a fat kid to a toilet seat. The poor kid went into the stall in the morning. Sat there silently crying all day and was discovered by a janitor that evening. MR. Cool apparently told his clique about what he had done. And the next day everyone knew about it. The kid that was glued. Lost some skin when he was pried from the seat. Apparently it turned out to be a bloody mess. He didn't come to school for about a week. MR. Cool was expelled by the school. And socially among the students. The fat kid. Gained a lot of new friends and became quite popular. He was homecoming king that year. He went from one throne to another. Drugs. You're the cool kid in 9th grade if you are smoking weed all the time. You're not the cool kid in 12th grade if you're addicted to heroin. Wait. Stoners are cool now? Vastly different from my HS years in the 90s. Me and my friends were the potheads and we were definitely looked down upon the entire 5 years of high school. Most popular kid in my middle school was this big Samoan dude. Looked like he was 13 going on 25 years old. I remember he gained a lot of popularity when he serenaded this girl in class to ask her to the dance. He had music playing on his iPhone and he started belting out love songs while on bended knee. Later on that year he went from hero to zero when we found out he'd been molesting his sister. There was a guy that was pretty popular. He got really drunk at a party and totally didn't know where he was. He pulled down his pants. Squatted and totally started to poop. He moved away immediately. He was a senior and I was in 8th grade. That was well over 25 years ago. Well. He friended me on Facebook a couple months ago and I kinda recognized him. I racked my brain and it came to me. The guy who pooped at the party. Poor guy. He hooked up with two of his friend's girlfriends. They ditched him after that. We had a guy like this in our frat. He would always try to sleep with everyone's girlfriends. Everyone just started ignoring him because of it. Some guy got mad when he was drunk texting the guy's girlfriend when everyone was at a party and the guy beat his ass in front of everyone. He dropped after that. He seduced a quiet girl in school. She was really soft spoken but super nice to everyone. Basically everyone's little sister. She was absolutely beloved by everyone in her year. And he was a year older. He was her first love. And he ducked her once. Took her virginity. And then essentially abandoned her. She was devastated by it. And it broke her for the rest of the time she was at school. She went right into her shell and barely spoke to anyone. When he started bragging about what he did. Everyone hated him. He even got beat up a few times because people were so angry at what he did. That really is messed up but it's so wholesome that your school came together to stand up for this girl. I had a cousin who died as a very small child because she walked out from behind two parked cars into the street out front of a church. A young man was driving to church and accidentally healed her. He never drove again. Ruined his whole life. Poor guy. My college roommate knew a guy that did the exact same thing. Accidentally hit a small child that came out between parked cars, and I think he may have even served jail time because it was. I believe. On the main road of a very small PA town and he was going like. 5-10 miles per hour over the speed limit. I can't really recall because it was like 6 plus years ago. She also said it ruined him. So very sad for all parties. Also. My condolences. Very sorry to hear this kind of thing happens all over. Edit. I suck. Well. The popular girl at my school tried to ruin the life of a really sweet girl because of boyfriend drama. When she realized people were standing up for the sweet girl instead. She lost her mind. Accusing the other girl and her boyfriend of property damage. Turning on anyone who didn't swear loyalty comma to her. Turning people against one another. Screaming at teachers. It was a mess. The nail in the coffin was when she confided to me and two others that she was planning to put laxatives in the pastries she baked for the class. Obviously I let people know. And she became completely ostracized. She left at the end of junior year. And senior year was the most chill year ever. 
she tried to manipulate all her friends and pit them against each other with a bunch of catty lies. Well that in combination with wearing her pageant sash and crown to school for like a week. All girls school. Cool twin brothers from my HS drove home intoxicated from a football game. Crossed a double yellow and smashed head on into a car coming in the opposite direction killing the other two occupants almost instantly. The brother not driving was severely injured and is currently still slightly mentally disabled. The brother driving came away with relatively minor injuries. Somehow he got away with no charges filed, probably on account of his lawyer father. He was also on one of our more successful teams so when he returned to school a couple of weeks later they announced it during a school assembly. Basically celebrating his return and congratulating him on a speedy recovery. Some of his friends started applauding. But pretty much everyone else ostracized him from that point on. Given the fact that he healed two people. And yes. He still is and was a piece of shit. Comma she dated me. We were in speech and debate together. Both did impromptu. And we would give each other random quotes and stupid cartoons to practice with. Spent a lot of time together because of it. We dated for about 2 days before people mocked her for it and she bailed on me hard to keep her social status. She never socially recovered from the sin of liking one of the nerds. Thing is though. She then lost all her nerd friends too. Our king of the school was the quarterback of the football team. Top of the pyramid until he got busted raping one of our classmates at a party. After high school. He was convicted multiple times for child molestation. And he ended up committing suicide last March. Best answer to this happens between elementary and middle school. Our elementary was small. And we fed into a middle school with a much bigger school. Think 20% us. And 80% them. Most popular kid showed up on the first day. After only knowing what it's like to be the coolest kid in the small school. And tried to start cheat with some random kid. Who was with 11 of his friends. To show how cool and top dog he was to everyone I guess. Yeah. Those 12 guys beat him up. And then made fun of him for years. He wasn't cool anymore. Just that fast. By high school nobody cared anymore. But he was never really popular again. He was popular because he was a rebel that talked back to teachers. And insulted them openly. He became an outcast because he made the teacher everyone loved cry. I had a guy in my class do this recently. Nobody really talks to him anymore. I remember in middle school the popular kid asked out the most unpopular girl and then embarrassed her in front of everybody by breaking up with her and laughing in her face about how she could think it was real. It was really sad and I remember her being really into high school TV shows and I think she really wanted to be popular. Like she hoped life would be like a Disney show or something. IDK what happened to him but I remember everyone kind of being like dude. And he moved a bit later. In high school the popular kids weren't necessarily bullies. They weren't super welcoming into their circle to invite everyone to parties and stuff but they weren't total bullies, at least that I know of. They were just good at sports and attractive pretty much. Pissed off one of the other popular guys. Maybe by dating his ex-girlfriend? I can't remember exactly how. But every dude in school shut him out and he had no friends. Kinda sad because he was a decent guy and they turned on him at the slightest provocation. But that's how things were in my class. My class was known for having the meanest. Cruelest cliques. We had a few substitute teachers who refused to teach our class because we were so awful. I'm glad I moved schools. That place was a nightmare. Our senior year this kid used to boast all the time about smoking weed and jetting drunk. One day. About halfway through the year. He showed up to first period, 8am, art class, hammered. He passed out in class. And busted his head open. Bleeding everywhere. He had bottles of booze. A bunch of weed up. And a ton of pills in his backpack. He was taken away in an ambulance. And no one really ever heard from him again. Somebody catfished him and was a short vid of him naked that went to a lot of people that most of us saw. Kinda felt bad for him but remembered he's an asshole. 
someone catfished the popular guy at my school and got him to do this crazy sexting role play where one of them was a gazelle and the other was a lion eating the gazelle. It was really graphic. But not in the way you would think. He spilled some of the soapy water stuff from the bucket that holds the mop onto the floor. And the chill teacher that didn't care about whether you played games in class or not tripped and fractured broke his right arm. There was a popular cheerleader at my school that was in a bad car wreck and she suffered severe brain damage. The day she came back some of her friends. Aka the popular kids. Sat with her at lunch. Every day after that though. They sat on the other side of the cafeteria in their normal spot and she was with the other special needs students. They would walk past her without saying a word. As far as everyone knew. Her entire group of friends completely abandoned her. I don't think she missed them though. So silver lining. She seemed to be very happy most of the time after the accident. Not so much before. This was in the mid late 80s. And every teen movie with a bunch of shitty preppies pretty much accurately depicts the popular kids in my HS. Got caught dealing crack beside a playground and then got busted holding someone in their house at gunpoint and went to prison went to prison for like 9 years. Got out his Facebook is half god redeem me sheet and half I still deal drew gus and carry gums type sheet. It's a classic American coming of age tale. He started dating this nerdy girl. Then he stopped hanging out with his friends and started spending all his time with her little brother and his middle school AV club. Then he kept hanging out with the kids even after they broke up. Knew a girl. She was voted homecoming princess and all. Then just decided she didn't want to do it anymore. I think she had a falling out with her friend group. Started dating a black nerd and lived her best life afterwards under the radar the rest of high school. So it was a self-imposed exile. That popularity ducked with their mind and that made them lose sight of their grades. They barely graduated. Not really outcasted. But a girl at my high school got cancer. I'm not sure exactly what type. I think it was on her lung but I remember her talking about how it was pressing against her spine and that caused pain or motor problems or something like that. A lot of people started avoiding her after word got out. It wasn't really that they were trying to be cruel or didn't feel bad for her. It was more that it was an awkward social situation they had no experience with and it was much easier to evade than to confront head on. None of her close friends did this. Fortunately. But lots of casual acquaintance great friends. I was an acquaintance great friend. But I was good friends with her best friend. So we still hung out some. That's not to say anything good about me. I'm actually super avoidant of difficult situations and totally understood why people were avoiding her. I've just never felt all that uncomfortable around people with terminal illnesses for some reason. Got blamed for a drive-by. Basically. Was a star track and field sprinter and jumper as well as football player. Nice guy too. A rather typical jock type. But he got along well with virtually everyone. He was definitely popular because he was extremely athletically talented though. He basically took the fall for a mere day he didn't commit. Almost everyone knew he was innocent. He was not a violent individual. Just tied up with the wrong crowd at the wrong time. He's gonna spend most his natural life behind bars now. A true shame he had a bright future, and now he's a physically literal outcast from society. Albeit not deserving graduated high school. He turned into that 30 year old dude that still hasn't gotten over high school. He got drunk and finger banged a sheep at an outdoor party. He spent the next 3 years as the sheep ducker. Majority of the football team was doing steroids. But he was caught red handed and was where all the outrage was thrown at. It was kind of ducked up. He was always nice to everybody and never picked or bullied anyone. He also gave back to people that helped him with homework. Some kid helped him with math so he would work out with that same dude after school when it was not football season. After he got caught with steroids. Everybody acted like he was a piece of sheet bully that was reasonable for cheating. In truth. He was just a dude that took steroids and busted his as and saw amazing results. Steroids were already there. Local media ran the story and pretty much almost named him. 
he was under 18 so they walked a fine line. The self-righteous indignation of everyone was disturbing. I was on the football team and also was on roids. I knew other people who were on the same sheet. A lot of people on roids loved pointing the finger at him. It was really shitty. She was hired to dog sit for a neighbor when they went out of town. She decided to take advantage of the empty house and throw a party at the neighbor's house that got out of hand. Neighbor's daughter also went to the school and had to deal with a messed up house. Pretty big deal and the popular girl never came back. In sixth form only the Chavettes stayed on. So they no longer had a big load of chav boys giving them attention. They became a lot more friendly to the other social groups shortly thereafter. For Americans and non-Europeans. Sixth form is pretty much year 12 stroke 13 age is 17 stroke 18. I think. I'm pretty sure they never left hometown and are now populating house parties. Trying to hook up with 14 year olds. He keeps getting older. But they stay the same age. I was best friends with the most popular guy in school for a couple years back in middle school. He was great. But the rest of the popular kids. Meh. They were all cooler than me in my opinion. But he saved me a seat at lunch every day and we had our own lame handshake and all that shit. But that whole group never felt like it really fit me. Aside from him obviously. So one day at lunch I decided to sit with the nerdy kids who played magic. Never really got my popularity back after that. And I think I hurt my friend's feelings because he was never the same to me after that. It was never my intention to hurt him. But that's not the sort of consequence kids anticipate. Never got a chance to reconnect with him unfortunately. Cancer is a rich and it took him a few years later. We left him an open chair at high school graduation. On the plus side. I'm still friends with some of the nerdy kids and we're in our 30s now. Magic isn't my thing. But those nerdy kids were great. They taught me that it doesn't matter what others think of you if you love yourself. Well he wasn't the popular kid but he was a popular kid and it was a weird situation. In that not everyone agrees what happened. But apparently he sold some people some drew Gus and told them he had gotten it from a really trusted source and they were laced with something weird and three kids ended up in the hospital and one of them still has health issues because of it.